so this is the second video of the C base assembly, and I think the other video we, we decided to choose a uh, to make a long and narrow C base. This time we're going to make a wide C base in, in case you chose to do that for your video. Um, so you start with these six C channels. Notice here on, on one end there's a little indicator right here on the completed uh, long C base uh, C channel. If you want to do a wide C base so that the front and the back are wide and the long and, and the short ends are where your wheels go, you need to cut these pieces two inches shorter than this indicator. So it needs to be 25 inches from here to about right there. And so cut those with a hacksaw, bandsaw, whatever you do, be safe when you cut those. So you need to cut four of those pieces out of these six. When you assemble your, your corner connects into your C channels, it's good to keep the middle um, well, this used to be the middle, but this, this indicator hole down as you assemble these parts into the end of each end of the C channel. Keep this hole here next to the side of your C channel, and then put your, your um, one and three quarter inch long quarter 20 screws into the holes. And you can just finger tight the, uh, the, nut, the nuts on the other side. Take another C channel, or take another corner connect for the other end. There you go. Notice that that hole is next to the, the C channel. Again, put the nuts on, finger tight. And you can go ahead and tighten these nuts up. Let's, let's do that now. A nut driver that's 7 16 or an open ended wrench is fine. But 7 16 holds the nut, and then a, I think it's a 3 16 Allen wrench, we can drive the, the screw into the nut. Okay, so you've got all four of your C-channel corner connect assemblies completed. You've got your heads of the screws on top and this indicator um, offset hole face, uh, it's on the downside of the corner connect. Um, these holes aren't all centered in the, cor in the, in the channel the C channel so that's why we, we do it this way. First thing you're going, to do, you're going to do is insert the screws which are the axles. These are 7 inch long 3 8 diameter screws. Put them in from the outside. This hole here is for a, a 6 inch wheel. Then you put the, the long spacer in first. Then the wheel and it's fully assembled with two bearings with the sprocket and the 250 spacer here. You've used some number 10 screws to fasten the sprocket and the spacer onto the wheel. Keeping the sprocket facing toward you or out, put the wheel onto the axle and then put the short spacer on the same axle. On the other end, do the same thing except start with the shorter spacer then the, then the wheel, then the long spacer. In that case, if you're running, if you choose to run a, a four-wheel drive system, these sprockets aren't exactly aligned with each other. Therefore, the offset of the sprockets on your gearbox, one sprocket can go here, one sprocket and chain can be driven over here, and one sprocket and chain can go over here. That's why they're offset like that. Next, next thing you do is assemble this second um, C-channel assembly. Keep this indicator hole down so your holes will be aligned. You're going to shoot for this outside hole and that outside hole to hit the axles. Okay, then you can just finger tight the 3 8 nuts onto the screws. So you've got a loosely assembled um, short C channel corner connect wheel assembly. You're going to do that one more time to make the other side of your, ro of your robot. Break, cut. Okay, for your second 
to keep things symmetrical, your second wheel um, corner and C channel assembly needs to go a little bit differently. Put the same axle into the same hole. This time, and keep this hole down. This time, start with a short spacer, then the wheel, then the long spacer. That was opposite from the way you did it last time. Second wheel, same way, except for the long spacer goes on first, then the wheel, then the short spacer, then the second C channel cor corner connect assembly with the hole down. Same deal over the axles on the outside holes. Put on your 3 8 nylock nuts, finger tight. You've got your second wheel assembly. So one wheel assembly, two wheel assemblies, and then you got your front C channel and your back C channel. Let's go ahead and get those assembled on. You've got a 36 inch long C channel. You can assemble this in a couple different ways. What we're going to do is a way to do it without cutting any part of this C channel, which is our suggested way. We suggest that you align this end of the cross C channel with, with this edge of the outside of, in this case, it's the right um, wheel assembly. So we, if we slide these in here, That's in from the top, just like you did before, or the screws. But if, if you think about this, this is 36 inches long, and your maximum footprint of your robot can be 38 inches long. So you can, on this end, move it in about one inch, so that, well, if this will go. So that your, your base will be slightly over 37 inches long, with the heads be about 37 and a half inches long. Another way to do that, more symmetrically, you, you can actually cut one inch off of this end, and you can you can get rid of this singular inch here. It would it wouldn't hurt you any. It'd save you a little bit of weight, and it might make it just a tad bit weaker, weaker because you don't have this this joint here. But it's still going to be a strong joint. On, the, on both corners. So once you get the, the your C, your corner connects into these, into this position, go ahead and put your screws in just like you did on the other side. You can put the quarter 20 nuts on the bottom. I'm just gonna get them all in there finger tight before I fast, fasten everything down. So once you have this end fastened down, just spin it around and do the same thing for the other end. Um, since this corner, since this corner over here was uh, all the way to the edge of the robot, we'll do the same thing over here with this corner being it to the edge of the robot. Hopefully this corner connects will slide into your C channel nicely. And just put in your screws the same way as you did before. And you're ready to ready to roll. Okay, so you've got your your C base in a wide perspective with a short front and back dimension. You have four of your slick wheels mounted to your C base. All your axles are tight. All of your corner connects with the quarter 20 screws are tight. You have these these brackets and braces here to uh, mount your tough boxes to your sides of your C-base if you choose. Um, please refer to the tough box to C-base chassis video for that assembly instruction. Thanks and good luck.